My friends, I'm sharing this message today, uh, not just with the clergy and people of the Diocese of Truro, but with everyone here in Cornwall at what is a very challenging time for us all. You'll be aware of how much has changed in just a very few short days. By now, you will probably have heard at two the call of the Archbishops of Canterbury and York to suspend public worship for a season. This will come as a shock and a challenge to many of you, but in the circumstances and following the best medical advice, I'm sure it's the right thing to do. But I want to say very clearly to you that that does not mean that the church is shutting up shop. Far from it. Now is the time for the Church of God to rise to this great challenge of our times. I cannot help but feel that this crisis challenges us deeply to be just the kind of church that our God is calling us to be. And I believe too that this crisis challenges Cornwall to be its very best, to express in, in heart and soul the spirit of one and all. So to us all in Cornwall, I would say, let's be the very best we can be. This is the opportunity we all have to shine, to be our better selves. It's a great challenge, but let's rise to it. And if you're feeling isolated and fearful, please remember that you are not alone. There are many people standing by you and with you, even if you can't see them. And our God has not changed. He remains good and faithful and we can trust him and rely upon him and he will not let us down. And if you're working in the public services, our NHS, the emergency services and the caring professions, planning and working to respond in the best way possible to the many challenges we face and you may be very stretched in the days to come, do know that we are cheering you on. We're deeply thankful for you and are praying for you and for your families too. And for the church, whilst our pattern of worship will change significantly, I think our church buildings need to be more open, not less, providing space for people to come and pray and be and socially interact at an appropriate distance, of course. We should use digital media creatively wherever we can, and we're working on identifying a few churches in the diocese where live streaming of worship might be possible. And we need to be the feet on the ground in our communities, identifying those who are lonely and isolated, fearful and grieving, and doing all we can within the constraints that are placed upon us and without exposing people to unnecessary risk to show in word and deed the love of Christ. Likewise, there will be others who find these times very challenging economically. And again, we need to do all we can to meet their needs. So let's keep the food banks well stocked up. So for us as a church, this will not be business as usual, but it will not be no business. It will be business unusual. We'll still be about the business of the kingdom of God, but in new, different, committed, creative and deeply caring ways. The big question this crisis asks of us as a church is this. Will we meet its challenge to love and serve and give as Jesus did? For we are nothing less than his body here on earth. I pray we will and will not be found wanting in this great hour of need. And for all of us across Cornwall in this crisis, let us be people of prayer. This crisis is bigger than any of us, but our God is greater. So we need not be fearful. In the end, we can be people of hope as we become people of prayer, because there is a good future for us beyond this, a good future that God holds out for us all. And as this virus is no respecter of borders, I'm going to close with a prayer written by our neighbour, Bishop Robert, Bishop of Exeter. And if you'd like to, do pray with me now. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful. 
and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may God bless us all. Thank you very much.